Ale Moreno is here with me getting ready to tackle some rumors in Rumorator. It's Wednesday, so we love some Rumorator, don't we? Aubameyang to Arsenal, we've been talking about this, seems like every single day. A lot of people think it does make sense, especially now that Alexis Sanchez left. What about you, Ale? Hit or miss? Well, there's a huge hole right now at Arsenal, and it's whether, I think it's whether they can work out the numbers. It, it comes down to that. Now, Aubameyang has all sorts of baggage with him, and, and, and Arsenal would be yeah. inheriting that baggage. And it's about whether you're willing to take those chances simply because you need goals and simply because you need to make a splash, given the fact that Alexis Sanchez is gone. There's a need to, for Aubameyang to leave. There's a need for Arsenal to get a goal score. I give it a hit. All right, so if you're saying that's a hit, which a lot of people think it will be, that means Dortmund will have a little bit of a hole to fill. Mishibat Shuai, could he be the man to fill that hole? He may just be because there aren't that many options out there, but not because the hole that Aubameyang leaves fits Bat Shuai. Yeah. I don't think he's as good a player as Aubameyang. In fact, I'm sure of it. And so uh, it may just be that it's what's available, it's what's out there. Maybe not happy at Chelsea. Maybe there's a need for him to go somewhere else and maybe to open up space for perhaps the next player coming. So I'm saying it makes sense, but Bashuayi is not Obama Young. So if Dortmund is are hoping for that, mm, thanks, but no thanks. All right. Well, Edin Dzeko now, we're hearing some reports coming out that they have agreed a deal. That's Chelsea and Roma. So is this a hit or a miss? It's a hit, and it's a hit for many different reasons. Uh, not because Bashuayi may be leaving or not. I think independently of that, the fact that you have had some struggles from Alvaro Morata, uh, it makes sense for Chelsea to go after Edin Dzeko. Uh, he is a player that has scored in the past in the Premier League, has played in the league, knows uh, the Premier League very well, and has done well at Roma. Coming back to Chelsea, I think it makes a, a whole lot of sense for Chelsea. I don't know that they really think that Morata will be the long-term solution. And for right now, they need somebody who can score. Morata's not doing it. Maybe Jeco provides the competition that Morata needs. Maybe he provides the goals. In whichever case, I think Chelsea wins out. This is a, a hit for me. All right, this one has also been floating around for some time. Manchester City have seen Fred in action. Now word is they do want his services. So would this be a hit or a miss in your books? All these things are interconnected to yes. each other. The fact that Alexis ends up going to Manchester United and not Manchester City then le leaves a, a hole in terms of options for Manchester City. Now, Manchester City would be bringing Fred as an option, not as a guy who's going to feature day in and day out, but as an option, as a guy who, who, who gives you a... a a little change of pace that gives you something different, different element in the attack. I think this makes sense for Manchester City. It makes sense for Fred as well. But does this one make sense? Malcolm to Spurs. It's interesting because I think Spurs, they need to look at themselves and try to figure out what is it that they really need. What is it that, that they're coming up short on? And I, I'm, I'm just not sure that this right now makes a whole lot of sense. Maybe you wait for the summer, see what happens in the World Cup, see where players position themselves. I think it's a miss. Ooh, our first miss of the day. Now, here's one that's never a miss. Mario Balotelli. We love any story that has to do with him. To Juventus. Uh, if you're Juventus, why? <laughs> why? Look, Mario Balotelli's a story. Top player and, on his day. And when is his day? When he chooses. You know, exactly. <laughs> and so a club like Juventus doesn't need a player like Mario Balotelli simply because he's been given chance after chance after chance. And then you see people would argue, well, he's scoring goals at knees. Okay, fantastic. It's the talent's never been a question. Is 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 the fact of who who he is, who he has become. He has become a sideshow at times, and I don't think it's worth it. If you're Juventus, stay away from that. And finally, Jack Harrison, NYCFC. Love when we can mix in some uh -huh. MLS in this. Ever since I interviewed him at Hartford, his career's just been on an up. Now wait, he's been linked wait, 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 <laughs> to what? Stoke City. I did him a good luck charm. Uh, so so you're taking credit for this. I'm gonna take this. credit for this one. Okay. I'm gonna take credit for this one. Because, right. you know, I'm good luck. So to Stoke City. Uh, I'm going to say that he gone. Uh, and, and the reason is uh, it's a, he, he's a player that has developed some at NYCFC, certainly has turned the attention of many different people, including the U21s of England, where he went and participated with that team. There is something about this kid that attracts, uh, attracts people. And the ability on 1v1 situations, I think he wants to go as well. I think, it may just be the right time for him, uh, a kid that's from Stoke, by the way. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, if the price is right, he gone.
back to the homeland, mm -hmm. which is something that he did tell me he would love to do one day, and this might just be the chance. Again, again. Good you luck, just, Charm Nunez. You just turned it around Everyone for you. Everyone should. You might just, your career might just go on the up after talking to me today, Alex. Oh, <laughs> Thanks so much to Alex Moreno. Oh, such luck. Tracking all of these rumors here at ESPNFC.com.